Good morning, it's Dave at ATI Watch Reviews. Please smash the like button and please smash that subscribe button for more awesome watch content. Little wristwatch check, oh yeah. yeah. My brand new 1682, 1970s chronograph homage from the one and only Pagani. Look at how unbelievably legible those um, hour and minute hands are. They're so white and so legible, it's frightening. Absolutely frightening. But um, I thought I would do, just to see how this has been ticking along all these years. Because I think this was one of the first watches I reviewed uh, when I opened my channel. This is one of the watches that reminded me, well, blew me away actually, at how, um, how insanely good Chinese companies um, can produce a homage watch for cheap. Because this watch, I paid at the time, at the time this was probably about 2020, obviously during COVID, I um, I only paid about, probably about 59, 58 quid for this watch, just less than 60 quid. And incredibly, even with inflation and all the other stuff and the added tax you have to pay and all this, on AliExpress, you can still pick this watch up. I've seen it for around... I think with taxes, 70 to 75 quid, possibly in sales, you can get it even cheaper, which is when, when, you, when you hear the specs of this watch. Now, I know this is a heavily reviewed watch, but this is like a, because I've had the watch for nearly three years, this is a, a follow-up to see how this watch, this Mecha Quartz watch has, has survived with a fairly moderate, because I've worn this watch quite a, quite a lot. I've took it on holiday multiple times over the past three years when this watch is obviously way south of 100 quid. And it's still the spec monster that I originally bought it. It's a 40 mil by less than 11 mil. I think it's about 10.8 mil thick. Ceramic tachymeter bezel. Mecha quartz chronograph movement. Anyone who doesn't know what a mecha quartz is, it means the main module of the watch runs on a quartz battery so it's super accurate for the normal time but the chronograph functionality which i'll show in a bit runs on um, a mechanical system it's a hybrid essentially and i love this type of watch um sapphire crystal i think that is a flat sapphire yeah it is fully solid stainless steel bracelet with a deployment clasp with safety as per the luxury style and the functionality is fine obviously the engineering tolerances are not amazing but what do you expect for what you pay it's still very functional and the system has not broken you know it's it's still i've took it many places and it's been perfectly fine with screw links in the um, in the links, screw, little screw links, they've been fine also. And interestingly, even though I have worn the watch quite a lot, I haven't picked up that many scratches on it, to be fair. With a stainless steel stamped case back. In the sport range, the PD1644. I'm not going to say the watch that it's homaging because of, you know, copyright issues and all that. Um, but we already know which what, what it is homaging. I decided to pick it up at the time in the black on black. I've had the Panda and I still prefer the black one. Although the all black, I think it looks classier. The, the best thing that I love, really, I mean... I, about this watch is its versatility. It's the fact that you, this is, it's one of those watches where it's basically an all occasion, all outfit watch. Obviously you can wear, you can wear watches, uh, whatever you want, it's up to you, but you get what I'm saying. You can wear this in a business setting. You can wear it with shorts and t-shirt on holiday. You can go swimming with it because it's got 100 meter water resist. It looks good in basically any attire. You can put a tux with it. You can do what the heck you want. It, you can wear it to your wedding. It looks absolutely fantastic. And let's be honest, the the watch that this is homaging is a super, super expensive, well, it is to normal people, 
um, you know, tens of thousands of pounds, really, in the pick it up, you know, the market rate for it. It's thousands, it's, it's, it's north of 20 grand. It, you know, it's unbelievably expensive. This is a fraction, a literal fraction of the cost of it, probably less than 1% of the cost. And yet, it's, um, you know, it's, you're getting with, for the watch, for what you're getting for it, you know, a lot of that watch, 80 odd percent, in, in, I mean, it's debatable, but because the bracelet tolerances will be better and the clasp and stuff, but the actual movement itself, you know, there's a, there's good reasons why you would prefer a quartz. And by the way, a, you know, a, a mecha quartz as to an all out automatic, I certainly would prefer it because I want the accuracy. Now, I know you've got to change the battery. I've never changed the battery and it's still ticking along just fine. I'll just um, unscrew the chronographs. So we'll check the chronograph mecha quartz functionality is still working. Set off the pusher. I never ever change the date windows in watches. I just can't be bothered, I'm too lazy. I know, and I'm quite quirky, I set the minutes hands five minutes in front ahead on a non atomic watch or a non you know synchronized watch with internet time or whatever like on my casios and stuff i normally just set them five minutes ahead i don't know why i just picked it up off probably one of my aunties when i was a kid a um, bit quirky like that but every other watch that's all my casios are generally that have atomic timekeeping obviously they're perfectly synchronized uh, we'll just stop the timer and then reset it. Yep, still working perfectly fine. I'll just screw them back in. It's also the value for money aspect that blew me away with this watch because, you know, compared to paying ridiculous money that those big luxury brands are charging status symbols basically that's what they're charging for um you're getting an unbelievable percentage of the luxury brand you know and i'll, I'll whack it on my wrist and actually i was just walking the other day and it, we finally got sun a little bit of sun in britain and i just thought to myself you know what i can't believe the sheen on this watch if, if you can see the sheen on that it's so beautiful and it's because of the ceramic bezel and there's not a single scratch in three years on that ceramic. I know that's pretty standard, but this is why I'm a huge fan of ceramic bezels as distinct from, you know, your stainless steel or your um, aluminium. I hate aluminium bezels. I'm a big purveyor of, you know, and sapphire. Yeah, it's better than aluminium, but on, on the bezels, but it makes the um, the markers difficult to read. Ceramic, in my opinion, is the best way to go. Just absolutely stunning. And you can still pick the watch up for an absolute steal, just a little bit more than what I paid th for three or four years ago. So there is an affiliate link down below if you want to pick it up and make a tiny bit of commission at no extra cost to you. But this is still, it's in my top five all time homage watches it's stood the test of time it's got that classic all round look the specs are unbelievable the sapphire crystal the tachymeter ceramic bezel the fully stainless steel construction the super com comfort and the fact it's only 10.8 mil it's super thin the lugs nicely curve a little bit they don't dig in i wear it pretty loose if you wear it tight yeah these pushes will dig in I wear it loose now. In fact, what I should really do is I should really put another link in and, and play around with that. But I used to wear it a lot tighter because it has got a dive extension on. I used to wear it a lot tighter, like when three years ago. I used to wear it. Yeah. That now that now to where I to where I like to wear watches, that is a touch tight. So I wear it, I should really put another link in um, and rejig the 
you know the, the where the bar is but yeah but the the dive extension works perfectly fine it gets you an extra like half a mil uh, half, half a centimeter sorry really nice little dive extension there this is not the way you should use it but i am just doing it now for because i'm not too bothered but an absolute cracker i prefer it in the all black you can pick it up in the panda the panda's also beautiful the panda is probably more legible and it has a more sporty look but i prefer the more classic conservative look on this watch because it's already a little bit in your face with how shiny it is so you might want to tone it down a bit by buying up the all black but this this watch reminds me you know why i got into to to watch collecting because what the chinese can do you know for such a cheap price is is pretty unbelievably insane there's going to be loads of new watches i just thought i'd do a little three-year follow-up on this watch because it's one of my favorites of all time um you know on aliexpress the homages so please you know check my content out there's gonna be loads of new videos it's been dave have a great day